I was very much into magical thinking. You know, if I said affirmations, if I thought from a wealthy mindset that everything would be okay. And finally, along the way, I realized you have to take your head out of the sand and look at reality. You're listening to Financial Grown Up with me, certified financial planner, Bobby Rebel, author of How to Be a Financial Grown Up. And you know what? Being a grown up is really hard, especially when it comes to money. But it's okay. We're going to get there together. I'm going to bring you one money story from a financial grown up, one lesson, and then my take on how you can make it your own. We got this. Everybody, today's episode is truly about becoming a financial grown up, even if it doesn't happen until you are in your 40s. It happens. My guest is nationally known psychotherapist, Dr. Robbie Ludwig. She is the author of the bestseller, Your Best Age Is Now, and has starred in her own reality TV show, One Week to Save This Marriage. You probably know her from the Today Show and countless media appearances. She is often that calming and reassuring presence after tragedies, both in the real world and on reality TV. I say that because we do talk a little bit about The Bachelor at the top of the interview. She's literally seen it all. She also admits she doesn't always like to live in her own reality when it comes to her finances. Here is Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Dr. Robbie Ludwig, you are a financial grown up now, I should say. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you so much for having me. I'm thrilled, truly. And I'm so excited to have you. You are a psychotherapist. You are the author of Your Best Age Is Now. And you are everywhere, by the way. I have to thank you on behalf of America for calming us down about The Bachelor. I watched you on Nightline last night. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people had strong feelings about Ari and going back and forth. And what's so interesting about The Bachelor is I think everybody can relate to those nightmare dating stories or losing the guy you think is perfect or winning the guy you think is perfect. So it certainly stirs up a lot of different feelings. And you made us all feel so much better. So thank you. We're also going to feel better about our own shortcomings when it comes to money when we hear your money story. (laughs) And I was kind of shocked when you told me what you were going to share today because Robbie, I expected better of you. You had a come to Jesus moment in the bathroom. You were thinking, tell us what happened. You should have very low expectations of (laughs) Bobby, and then we'll be all good. No, this is really true. And this is a story I've never shared with anyone, by the way. So you are the first to- Exclusive here. Mm -hmm. I was experiencing a lot of professional success. I put a lot of time and energy and had a lot of therapy, and I was- writing books that were getting published. I was on national TV. I had been on Oprah and Larry King, and I was the host of my own show. I was on the Today Show regularly giving advice. I was traveling around a lot as the host of One Week to Save Your Marriage, and I was in somebody's home that I was trying to help save their marriage, and I was in the bathroom uh, where I have a lot of interesting, insightful moments, but I had this come-to-Jesus moment. I had my phone, and... I got this phone call from a bill collector saying, when are you going to pay your statement? It was stressful to me. And I I was like, why am I this successful person professionally and financially? I'm just like this mess. And I don't want to be that person anymore. How old were you, by the way? I was in my 40s. Wow. Yeah. And finances had always been an issue for me because I was raised with very poor role models in this way. My mother still sticks her head in the stand when it comes to money. She didn't want to know anything about it. My father handled everything. We never spoke about money in the home. So it was just kind of like, well, just do well for yourself and everything will be okay. Or you're deserving of the best. And reality and money, they never went together. And so while I don't want to blame my background, because I certainly understand, you know, parents have their own philosophy when discussing money with kids, I realized the way I grew up was really unhealthy in that area. And I had not done a thing to make it better because it was just a taboo topic that felt too dangerous and uncomfortable for me. So what did you do? Well, in this come to Jesus moment, I said, I got to fix this. I hired experts to help me take care of 
my money in a way that was on time and regular. And I wanted to develop self-confidence and knowing that I could trust myself to figure out how to pay everything on time, to trust myself to know that I could bring enough in and spend that appropriately without spending too much. It's a constant struggle for me, quite honestly, because money is something that is still challenging for me. So it's the one area in my life that I'm always really trying to be a professional grown up. And it's something I have to put a lot of effort into because I could fall back on old habits. But I wanted to trust myself. And I wanted to know, Robbie, you are a person, you're going to pay all of your bills on time. You are never going to be late. You are going to know about money. You're going to familiarize yourself with how to ask for what you're worth and know that your time is worth financial dollars. So these are ways I didn't think. I just thought in this kind of naive way, just do what you like and and the money will come in. Or if you think well of yourself, then your life will look pretty. Right. But the money was coming in. You were doing great. You just weren't paying your bills. I wasn't being a responsible adult. It didn't click. And I finally confronted myself and said, this is not who you want to be. This is not okay. There is too big a disconnect between who you are professionally and how the world sees you. Now, granted, Bobby, I'm not you. I'm not giving financial advice. This is a true story. I was once asked to talk about financial, how to handle things financially for the Today Show. It was kind of a couple's piece. And I'm like, hey, I said to the producer, how do you think I did? He's like, Robbie, you didn't give any explanations on what to do. I was like, yeah, I don't have any explanations on what to do. Uh. (laughs) So so let's talk about the lesson for our listeners. It seems to me it's know when to ask for outside help, right? Something like that. You're not a one man band. So, you know, if you have people that know how to handle money, ask them questions, read articles. There are companies out there that can also help you pay past bills or negotiate for you if you need to have someone help you with that. One of my favorite things on the planet is that I can pay my bills online now. It makes it so simple. I just figure out what date does something need to be paid and I set it up so it happens and I don't even have to think about it. So I know that I can trust myself to pay my bills on time and it will get done. Because you're held accountable. Because I want to be that person. I wanted to trust myself. I did not want there to be such a grand disconnect in the various areas of my life. And I felt it was time that it was not okay to be irresponsible in this way anymore. It just wasn't okay. So let's get to your money tip. I love this. You say, stop the magical thinking. I was very much into magical thinking. You know, if I said affirmations, if I thought from a wealthy mindset, that everything would be okay. And finally, along the way, I realized, you know, you have to take your head out of the sand and look at reality. And I'm not always a big fan of reality because it can be painful, but it is the best way to handle money issues. Look at the reality, figure out what you need to do. It may not always be pleasant, but if you put your head in the sand, you know, what you resist persists. So it's not a good strategy when dealing with financial realities and how to protect yourself financially. Didn't Oprah have a book called The Secret that she recommended and it would solve all your problems? And I I admit I never read it, so I I don't know. But that kind of seems like promising people that this one thing will solve everything. Exactly. And I love The Secret. And while I think that there's value in thinking positively and having high expectations of yourself and wanting the best, I think that's great. But when it comes to money, there's a different language I think everybody needs to subscribe to, which is thinking more pragmatically. And that's what I constantly struggle in my adulthood with figuring out how to do because it's hard for me. It's not always pleasant, but I'm proud of myself that I have moved along those lines because it's the way one needs to be in order to be a financially responsible adult. All right. Well, you are a financially responsible adult now, especially thanks to all those automated tools, which are actually great. I use a lot of automated bill paying myself. Let's talk more about you besides holding our hand when we get upset, 
about The Bachelor. <laughs> Where else can people find you? What else are you up to these days? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know, you can find me on television again, contributing about various psychological things going on. But one of the most exciting projects I've, I've worked on over the past year is producing and hosting my own Facebook live show out of Starshop Studios. It's called Talking Live. Uh, you can find it on Talking Live on Facebook. You can find me, Dr. Robbie Ludwig, on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. And I get to interview people who are making the world a better place based on their talents and skills. And so it's been tremendously rewarding having people on the show who I respect, who have something important to say and can share that with the world. And so that's the type of person I want to be. It's like being a therapist, but translating it as a producer and host. And where can people find you in social media? They can find me under Dr. Robbie Ludwig, which is R-O-B-I-L-U-D-W-I-G, and it's D-R, on Talking Live on Facebook. And you can find me just – anyway, if you Google Dr. Robbie Ludwig, you can find me all over the place on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook. I don't do Snapchat, but I'm everywhere else. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Thank you for having me. I adore you, and I adore your show. So Robbie was pretty humble, but as her friend, I'm really happy for her that she's in a better place right now. And that brings us to financial grown-up tip number one. Once Robbie came to terms with the fact that she couldn't manage her finances on her own, she reached out for professional help. I thought that was great. She also educated herself and continues to do so and took ownership of paying her bills. But by involving professional people, she is externally accountable. Someone's going to check on her. And as she says, you are not a one-man band. Financial grown-up tip number two, Robbie mentions that there are places that can help you negotiate your bills. So here are a couple resources that you can check out and see if maybe one might work for you. Trim and Truebill are personal finance assistants that will analyze your credit card bills, identifying recurring charges, and then also letting you cancel them or maybe figure out if you can negotiate them and at least get them lower. I'm going to put the links for both and some reviews from them, or reviews of them, I should say, from some of my favorite websites in the show notes for you guys. And just as a reminder, I have no financial affiliation with these companies. And if I ever am affiliated with a company that I mention on the show, I'm always going to let you guys know so you can make your own decision in the right context. Thank you all for your support. If you have not subscribed, please hit that button. It means so much. And then, of course, you won't miss any episodes. Be in touch. Follow me on social media. On Twitter, I am at Bobby Rebel, and on Instagram at Bobby Rebel one I love hearing your comments and your reviews, so please keep them coming. I hope this episode delivered value for you and that you are going to go right now and do something to better your life financially. We're in this together. I hope you enjoyed Dr. Robbie Ludwig's interview and that it helped us all get one step closer to being financial grownups. Financial Grown Up with Bobby Rebel is edited and produced by Steve Stewart and is a BRK Media production.